Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, this is really a neat car for me. 1974 Gremlin. I'll tell you what, American Motors came out with a real winner when they came out with this in 1970. Give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're gonna to talk about a really spectacular, great little car that has really got me excited, a 1974 American Motors Gremlin. Now, you're gonna to wanna to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're gonna do a cold start, a walk around, give you a lot more pictures to take a look at so you can really see how outstanding this car really is. Now, you can click on the link in the description as well and it'll take you right to this car on our website and you'll be able to get all the information there as well. And our website is www.ellingsunmotorcars.com where we have close to 100 classic and collectible cars and trucks from the 1920s all the way up until the 1970s and beyond. So if you're looking for a classic collectible, we probably got it right here at Ellingson's. But today, this is one of these little cars that uh, I have to tell you, there's even a family story that goes back. My dad owned one of these in 1973. Of course, he wasn't fuel economy minded, but uh, <clears throat> he also got a speeding ticket with his. But this, the story behind this little car, the Frost White original car. Now, when I say original, we have all the original paperwork from new. They have the little uh, plastic like credit card that, for the warranty work. We have the original bill of sale. We have all the paperwork and history on this car out of Kentucky from when it was new when the gal bought it. I mean, this car cost in the neighborhood of a little over $2,500 when she bought it new. Now, here's the exciting part about this car. It's got 8,706 miles, original miles on this car. Just look at the engine compartment details. The, the interior is absolutely as pristine as you can get for an original car. Now, these cars were, you know, for American Motors, it was their second highest selling automobile that they ever came out with. They were looking, as most of us remember, back in 73, 74 was the Arab Oriel embargo. Everybody was looking for fuel economy cars and looking for the subcompacts. Well, American Motors has always been known to be kind of for those thrifty people wanting to save money since they were originally part of Nash Hudson way back in the day. The Gremlin came out at the perfect time. It's got the little 232 inline six engine with an automatic in this thing. Just absolutely a fuel economy type car. If you compare the size of the little Gremlin, it is almost the exact same size as a Volkswagen from the same era. Well, what would you rather have in this day and age, in my opinion, is of course the American made one that costs a little over 2,500, a lot more uh, <clears throat> horsepower, a lot more performance than you got out of your 1974 Volkswagen. No, this is one of those cars that's just, when you, you try to find what we call a true survivor, this is in every sense of the word, exactly what it is. It is a true, true survivor. Now, now you're going to take a look at it and go, you know, we've got the radial tires on it because that's always one of the nicest improvements that you can do. Uh, it's got the uh, kind of an aftermarket uh, mag wheel on it. We actually even have the original steel wheels that go with this car with the original tires and hubcaps. I mean, they're 8,000 miles on them. The tires are probably uh, not worth or safe to be driving on, but just if you want to have a car absolutely safe, this is the way it came in 1974. We have got it right here. Now you can find all of our cars on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. And you'll find interesting stories on this car and other cars that we have in our inventory as well. And there's also the cars that we've sold in the past will be there as well. So if you have time to peruse the internet and you like old cars, check out those websites because there's always something there that might intrigue you and just uh, fill in that need for thinking about old cars. But yeah, just take a look. The car, like I said, was sold new in Kentucky. Uh, beautiful interior. I mean, it is absolutely as pristine as you get. It was a thrifty minded individual who bought this car. I mean, it doesn't have much for amenities, but that was not your uh, intention back in 74. You were looking for fuel economy and it's kind of a sporty little car. I've talked, like I said, my dad had one and uh, he got one with a V8 and the, uh, 
the four speed and whatever it was. He wasn't really thinking economy, whereas this individual was, and it is really, really nice. Yeah, the interior is ex extremely Spartan, but yet, you know what? This one, since it's a 1974, it does have the hatchback open, so you can actually get into the back if you have to put groceries or whatever, and where the spare tire is as well. But yeah, I mean, they got the sporty stripe that goes down the car. It's just the chrome is exceptionally nice interior. It is just one of those, what I would call a true survivor. So if you're looking to add something to your collection that number one, not anybody else probably has in your neighborhood, we've got one right here at Ellingson. So if you're like me, come on down. We'd love to have you come and look at it in person. I mean, we are open Monday through Friday from 10 until five and Saturdays 10 to four as well. So come on down. If you want to look at this car in person, we'd love to have you stop in. Well, thank you again for watching our videos. We appreciate it very much. Uh, we always have something here of interest at ellingsonmotorcars.com and we will see you next time. Thank you much.